Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... Bradley. Say hi, Brad. Brad. <laughs> the voice is still changing. He's yeah. still going through puberty. We're hoping this might be the year we're done. Right? Yeah. It is July 28, 2016. It is 1.01 p.m. on this fine Thursday afternoon. It is 91 degrees right now. Real fill is 111. Uh, the high will be 93 and the low will be 75. And it is quite smuggly out. It is, you aren't outside for too long before you have the full sauna effect. You know, like I said before, I know it's time to come in when my, my skin is all dewy. <laughs> no, it didn't take as long this morning. But hey, it is what it is, right, honey? What, baby? He's eating breakfast. Or lunch. Lunch. Yeah, or our breakfast lunch. So I can take my drugs. So you can take your drugs. I'm having a protein shake with whey powder because um, now that I'm up on the full dose of Victoza, the 1.8, um, it has a tendency to make your stomach very upset, um, which is just normal. Um, and like yesterday I took it, I was fine, but this morning I uh, took it and Almost immediately, I thought, you know, I thought maybe I was going to throw up. So, I mean, I'm not complaining about it. It um, does really well for diabetes, and it also does really well for not making you hungry. So, I mean, or helping with that. And um, so that's a big bonus. So, I'm just having a protein shake. This is vanilla whey. And what'd you put in it? Sugar free. Vanilla. The sugar free. Coffee. The sugar free um, coffee syrup, the vanilla. You can get that at Dollar Tree. Really good stuff. And um, milk and ice. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm working on drinking that. Uh, so I can take my medications. Um, yesterday. We kind of took shifts on laying down. Like when I did my video, I told you guys Brad wasn't feeling real well. It was his day to have the upset tummy from from because he had upped his Victoza up to one point uh, two, and um, you know he just was feeling a little under the weather and stuff. Um, and so we just took it kind of easy. Um, uh, you know our retirement uh, pension hasn't come in yet, so. We aren't going shopping or anything. That's okay. Um, it is what it is. Um, I'm working and not getting as upset about stuff. I'm crying. I already cried this morning. But, yeah. It wasn't about that. It was about missing people that have passed on. I'll get to that at the end of the, end of the vlog. But, um, and then I made breakfast for dinner. I did the fried potatoes with onions and um, uh, uh, sweet, mini uh, sweet peppers and some kibalsa. And then Brad did some scrambled eggs in the microwave. Um, uh, in fact, that's what he was eating the rest of it for lunch here. Um, uh, and watched a little bit of Netflix. The internet was spotty enough I couldn't get really watched too much of my excuse me my nurse Jackie um and I just made some more um more of these out of the scrap yarn I had left I know a friend of mine asked me where I got this from and it's called the the brand name of the yarn is Tulip Fields and it's at Hirschner's um and it's uh she told me last night it's still on sale for 99 cents a skein now the skeins are like half the size of a normal skein but still it's a really good price and it's a really nice yarn and you know um you know it's all different colors of course so um you know can't beat that price and um i did some painting i i did some background for some paintings i'm going to be doing some abstracts um and I did just kind of a free form of this. I mean, you could turn it any way you want, basically. This is like that, too. Um, I'm not listing this one 
Uh, actually, I'm sending this one to a friend of mine. Um, uh, I've been wanting to do something to thank her for just... She's always been such a, 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 a great friend of mine and such... Um, always so supportive of um, whatever we are doing in our life. Um, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, friends like that are very hard to come by. And couldn't think of anything else I could really do for her. Um, so I went to do this painting. So, um, you know, uh, I'm anxious to, uh, to I'll, probably, I'll send it out as soon as the retirement comes in. Um, you know, can you plug my phone in? Okay. My phone's about to die. Mm -hmm. So, I need to plug it in for a while. Um, what else? Um, Brad stayed home last night and, um, watched some movies. Um, that's about all we really did. We really didn't do anything. Uh, Brad made brownies last night. It's like a triple chocolate, you know, they're rude. They're rude, you know. But, you know, try not go crazy with those. <laughs> you know, and uh, I won't right now because my, you know, my stomach's going, oh no. Um, and today we just, um, not really anything so far. We just got to have a chill day at home. I don't know if we'll go check the mail later or not. Um, you know, and um, just, um, That's it. You got anything to say? Fred right. making goulash tonight for dinner. It's his night to cook. I cooked for the last two nights, so it's his night to cook. And my day to do dishes. <laughs> that makes me nervous when he laughs like that. <laughs> um, and uh, one thing that... Uh, I know about you guys, but what I have a hard time with when somebody passes on or something majorly changes in my life is that whatever it was no longer exists it's like I was describing to my husband about a dream I'd had last night about my grandfather now my grandparents owned a bow and alley and you know I spent a lot of my childhood in the bow and alley and um, I even worked up at the bow and alley and stuff they had little cafe within the bow and eye that I, you know, would, you know, that was my first job at 14, you know, when you're, uh, when you're working for family, you can work younger and, you know, at a younger age and stuff, and, and then in my adulthood, I, I worked there and stuff too, but, um, anyway, the dream was, you know, about my grandfather and stuff, and, you know, what gets me is, what I have a hard time with, when somebody passes on the not only are they no longer there in body, but like their stuff is gone, their house is gone. The yes, the building still exists where the bowling alley was, but you know everything was ripped out. It's now a goodwill. Um, you know, of course, my grandparents' house has been sold. Um, you know, Brad's grandmother and stuff. I mean, all of her stuff is gone. I mean, I have a hard time with that because it's almost like. That person never existed. Um, you know, and I know a lot of other people do, too. But that's what I always struggle with the most is, you know, it's almost like I want to encapsulate that that memory so nobody can ever touch it. That space, that, you know, um, you know, it's always was still very hard for me to drive by my grandparents' house. Yeah. Because you drive by and you expect them still to be there. You expect you can go bounding up the steps and go in their front door and your grandma will be sitting there in a recliner and, you know, say hi to you and, you know, and all of that. But, you know, I know life changes and, and everything, but, you know, sometimes you really miss the people that really did love you and your family, you know. Uh, you know, which I always say that everybody that really loved me within my family, basically, you know, except for my daughters and my husband have all already passed away you know and um you know it's just life sometimes i have a hard time 
coping with that. Um, I think you think about it a little bit more when, you know, you move far away and when, um, you know, uh, you know, you're still searching for your place in a new area. Did find out, though, that, that there is a library in Crawfordville, uh, and uh, it looks like they may have a knitting group or something uh, on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. So, uh, you know, when Brad's uh, pension does come in and stuff, we are going to get my driver's license my Florida driver's license, and then I'll be able to get a library card, and then I can ask them about, about that group or classes, whatever. That would be a, a good um, opening to meet some women that are into crafts and, and yarn and stuff like I am and, and make some friends in this area and, and stuff, and that would be really nice. I mean, you know, it's what I've been looking for is, is you know, a group or something that I could, you know, start to get to know people. So, I'm excited about that. Um, you know, like I said, I'm trying not to worry as much about stuff, um, you know, which um, it's hard for me to open up about a lot of stuff even to to my husband. I just, I've never been real, real open and stuff like that. Have I, hun? Mm -hmm. You know, I've just always been kind of closed. I mean, it's not that I don't trust him. I trust him in my life. I just have a hard time talking about some stuff. I have a hard time saying my feelings. Now, I can write my feelings, but saying my feelings or even or stuff like that is really hard for me. That's why I use this avenue some to kind of, you know, get out some of my feelings and stuff, but I've never been good at orating my feelings. Right? Yep. Yep. No, you have not. It's amazing. It's amazing we got anywhere because I'm the same way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, you, you're pretty good once you get the trust level of stuff, talking about your feelings yeah. and stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But, uh, yeah, so, it's all good, you know. It's normal to miss the people that you love that passed on. You know, and someday you're going to cry, and someday you're going to smile, and, you know, uh, you know. It just, there's a lot of days you give anything to sit and, um, have another conversation with them. And that's, that's for darn sure. Yeah. You know, basically like Brad's grandmother and stuff. You know, did that. That's that picture. Remember? Um, when she was a young woman? Yeah. This is a picture of his grandmother when she was a young woman. Yeah. Both of our grandmas names were Maxine yeah. <laughs> so you know and that was the other one and this is when she was like two or three three I think three and she was born in 1917 I believe yeah she was born in 1917 so yeah. Yeah. yeah you know but um, you know sometimes you just really miss his grandmother you could sit and um just hold her hand and everything was okay. You know, I can't describe it any other way. You would hold her hand and you would just feel this overwhelming feeling of love and everything would be okay without her even having to say anything. And my grandmother before, um, before she started having a lot of, she had a massive brain tumor when she was, uh, when I was in junior high, removed, and then in years, you know, in 1988, or it was the end of 87, she got put on oxygen, and I think her brain over time was starved with enough oxygen that it really changed her personality, and, and she became quite mean, but, you know, I remember the good times with her, and you could just even sit there and talk to her, and you know, she would make so much sense out of life. So, you know, just 
missing some some family and stuff just you know but it is what it is I know it's all water under the bridge just sometimes you find yourself you know wondering you know what your next phase in life is because there is no easy answer you take this turn down this road you take this turn down this other road and then you're weighing the consequences of each action and you're unsure so when you're unsure to me that means you should just stay put but then you feel like if you're staying put are you just being stagnant and I'm not, like I said, my biggest fault is I'm not the most patient person in the world. You know, and I mean, unless you're, you're, uh, you know, an animal, then I'm usually very patient and stuff. But as far as my self-development, I'm not the most patient person. And, you know, you don't want to make any major mistakes. And, no, it's not easy starting over at our age. Um for anybody, uh, but it happens all the time, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, their spouses are, have passed away, or, you know, you know, life is all about change, but, yeah, so I'm just kind of, just kind of reflecting today, and, and stuff, and, um, um, I don't know if I'm doing painting today or not, I'm probably just gonna, um, do some looming. I'm going to make another jellyfish and then I'm going to start making some octopus. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, kind of re just hanging out with Mr. Mr. Hat. Yeah. Got anything else to say, honey? Yeah. Sounds like you nope. covered it very, very well. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, sounds like you covered it very well. Yep. So. That's all really got going on. I know it's a really boring vlog, but just, you know, every day is not just, you know. Sunshine and roses. Yeah, I reflect on, I'm not one of the vloggers that's going to go take you guys everywhere and film a bunch of stuff that we're doing and make it seem like my life is really super exciting. This is just basic life, you know, basic life as it is and, you know, um, you know. Oh, I did want to say I am feeling a ton better now that I'm back on my water pills and stuff. Um, I had an open sore on my left um, shin. Actually, on both shins. Did I? Uh, well, I only knew about the left one. Yeah. That was really oozing. I told you guys about that. Uh, and it's all healed up now, and my knee pain is, is um, you know, hardly there and I'm able to move around so much better so that really helps right honey mm -hmm. what else I think you got it all yeah oh you're upset tummy too yeah Vic told him not to hit him now his tummy is upset you know we just share a pepto now <laughs> yeah. you know what you can do some people do shots of alcohol. Yeah. We do shots of Pepto. As soon as it starts cooling down more, I want to do some more uh, walking and stuff. I'm going to wait till it cools down. Like yeah. The 111 real pill. It's too hot to be out there walking. Well, even at night, like when I go fishing. Last night it was warm. Yeah. When I go fishing at, at uh, right around dusk, um, walking through the park, it's still really toasty once mm -hmm. you get out on the pier. It's and nice. The breeze hits you. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Seeing the bats and, and that's another nice thing about the breeze is with the breeze going, you don't have any of the any of the insects. Mm -hmm. So. Don't puke on me, man. Try not to. There's that bowl. You no, know, I'm watching it. Save me. But he looking like he might puke on me. Oh, that's not good. He's grabbing his shirt. No puke in the shirt. See. Anyway. Take it out. <laughs> Rinse it off with a hose. Before he starts making retching noises, because I'm sure you guys don't want to hear. No. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? If I hear somebody puking, I want to puke with him. I'm like, oh, God. 
I can't watch people puke. I can't hear people puke. It's just horrible. Now, I'm... That's the, one, the puke. No. Uh-uh. Well, no. There, was, there was that one guy that I used to work with that he shall remain nameless here. But once in a while, if, if I was really bored and he was really irritating me, I would uh, walk by his office and go... Mm. That's horrible. Yeah. That's really horrible. Uh, yeah. But you know who I'm talking about, so you yes, can I see do. why I took pleasure out of it. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, we're going to get off here. Oh, wow. Hi, Charlie. Wow. Did you just see that? Holy crap. All right, well, love you guys. <laughs> and try to to... No. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Easy there. And I cherish your friendship. <laughs> and I think you guys are awesome. Holy moly. <laughs> 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 See my friend. My friend. Say bye, Charlie. Oh.